short. All right. As continued community activities, unfortunately, jet lag is not here anymore, I think. Um, but as, a, as another community activity, uh, suggestions for what I should put in that picture frame right there. Because, um, like, here is, like, me and my former roommate blowing bubbles at college. Awesome picture. This is, like, everyone who came from the West Coast to attend my wedding. It's, like, one of my favorite pictures from the wedding. What goes there? What goes in this happy place? Try and, uh, try and give me some suggestions on Twitter or something. Alright. Let's go back. And do some stuff. We are going to look for a mountain shaped like a star, because there is treasure there. It will be hard to tell from the air, I would think. start by looking for any mountain forms. This is just a big, big mountainous mountain. Okay, this is not a star mountain at all. You can fly higher? That just puts me on the airship. If I can fly higher, it's none of the none of the buttons I know. These are these are the two like shoulders. This is like this one and the menu button. And then the only other two buttons I know. Well, maybe it's up and down. Oh, it's up and down. Hey, that helps. Thanks, guys. You guys got my back. Wait, what's that? Oh, that's the Coliseum. I have to like draw a pentagram which means a set of mountain ranges and like find the middle of it. That could also be that's the cave in the belt, I'm pretty sure. That's a set of tall like islands. Oh god, this is making me kind of nauseous. I don't know about anybody else, but that's our end goal, unless that's the one where we found, no, that's the one where we found what's-his-face, Strago, with the horrible tower of which we shall not speak. Another place that has a cave. What's this cave? Have I been to this cave? This was a vast desert. Narsha. Um, it's spelled like Narsha. It could also be Narshi or Nersh, maybe? Or just Narsh. What is this place? And why did it not label itself when I entered? Dante? Dante, what are you doing down here? I thought you were in purgatory. Uh, dramatic as I thought. Narche, maybe. What is this place? Is this, yeah, is this like 
that starting cave? Where we, like, passed through to get down to the place from the place? Not that Dante. Probably not the other Dante. So far, there have been things in places in the, the new ruined world when I come back to them, so there have been new things there, so I'm just gonna... He's pretty easy, though, so maybe I should just let everybody out and out and fight him, because <laughs> apparently they can just one-hit him, so... know if I didn't get these chests that probably have like, you know, 10 gil in them or whatever, <laughs> I can still get them now. Uh, didn't we get here from Narsh the first time? Maybe this is how we get back into the, uh, into those, um, closed off houses. We hopped on that turtle to get through to the thing. Let's see if everybody can take out one of these in one hit. Well, I mean, okay. <laughs> Cyan, you're ruining my experiment. <laughs> but good job. That turtle is still there, so I can still go that way. This will take me back. Oh, this is closed. where the lava caves were. I don't remember where the hell this is, to be honest. I'm surprised that Clerks the video game is not a thing that exists. I mean, Clerks the animated series was a thing that existed. And was excellent. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. I think it's on Netflix. It was at one point. such brilliancies as the second episode is a clip show of the first episode. <laughs> driving car. Yes, exactly. Hi, Jason. <laughs> Jason came in just, just for the clerk's reference. Okay, nothing down there. Nothing down there. Okay, so this is the way it's closed off. Never the mind, then. I was like a teenager when I watched it, so it's possible that it has like a basically teenage level of humor. But give it a try anyway. Why not? It's probably better than the other things you're watching. I have no idea what you're watching, but you know. Most of the stuff on TV is terrible these days. Especially now that Hannibal's been cancelled, so you know. Why even bother with TV? Tell I'm still bitter. Wait. Oh, no, I can't. Okay, and this way we close 
closed off, so I gotta go back this way. Like letting me go back and get old treasure chests, I guess, if I miss them. Or, um, I guess I did come here with Edgar at one point, didn't I? Um, and found him. That's how we secretly got to, uh, thing in the desert. I think it is. Alright, never mind. Yeah, R.I.P. Hannibal. That show was so good. Was so good, you guys. TV couldn't handle a show that good. It's too good for TV. So, I stopped doing it. Because people don't have taste. But, now the, you know, third season will be coming out on Blu-ray, so if you want, I think the first two are still on uh, Amazon Prime, so if you want to just watch the whole series, you can totally binge watch the whole series. It's totally worth it. Um, wow, that did almost nothing to them. We are way over leveled for this area, which makes sense because we came here a while back. <laughs> if I am on the Correctly, which I might not be. As I said, I'm pretty damn tired. Hey, Drake Saren. There's a Drake Siren. Ah, nice to see you. Or Drakessa Aaron. Which would be an interesting name, I guess. Uh, I went this way already. It's <laughs> Doesn't matter. Well. I don't know. I like to pronounce people's names correctly. Um, given that my my name was pronounced incorrectly most most of my like middle school and high school years. Mod learned Osmos and Rasp, finally. Okay, does that mean everyone in my party now knows Mo Osmos and Rasp? Because I'm definitely not going back to the tower tonight, but might next time, if everybody knows. Alright. So you have Rasp, and Osmos. I can apparently toggle the costs for some reason. I don't know why that's valuable. You have Rasp, and Osmos. Good. You have Rasp, and Cosmos, okay. And you. Started with it, right? Yes, you were the only one who had it before. Okay, so, like, uh, people pronounce it Kayla all the time. I was, like, generally referred to as Kayla for much of, uh, um, for much of middle school and high school. Even with, like, teachers who I told them multiple times how to pronounce my name. Like, teachers that I had for four years, like gym teachers. Still didn't get it. And it's not spelled Kayla. Like, there's no extra A in the front, but. Uh, but whatever. I kind of just got used to it. And the show that was too beautiful to live. Exactly. Oh, too good for this world. It was a beautiful show. Like, if you didn't watch that show, it's, like, visually stunningly gorgeous. I occasionally also got, uh, I think, Kylie as a pronunciation because we had, uh, we had a, another girl who was, like, a year or two behind me, I think, in school who was named Kylie. But... I'm sure she got Kyla all the time. Um, let's see. Let's go back in the air 
ship. And search for some more mountains. Why would you build this this way? That's... no, I don't think that can be called a star. Okay, what about in the fancy little island down here? Oh, this is that rock that we said was like mysteriously above the tide that I said I'd go back to and check out again. everybody where like people just don't pronounce your name correctly like it's statistically bound to happen I guess I saved that house on fire. Sky fish monster. Okay. Yeah, okay. Head north of town if you want to see Ebot's Rock. I don't really care about Ebot's Rock. I'm sure it has something valuable related to it, but I don't know what... Is this Realm's house? Yeah, she is. Okay. Warp indeed. Okay. So you have a dog taking care of you. That's fine. Not useful to me, but fine. Carl, your, your first name is also your last name, so... probably going to go very poorly because I think we are not leveled enough for that island because um, I think that's the island where I died horribly last time but we can try why not we can try stay at the inn this is the one GP inn I, to be honest, I mostly forgive teachers at this point who drastically uh, mispronounce things. Gloom Shell, that sounds like a Pokemon. Um, uh, given that I'm, like, I've been doing teaching lately, like, and, and I've, you know, I have enough kids that I'm pretty bad with names. I don't remember anyone's names. I feel a little bit more sympathy for my teachers now than, uh, than I used to, admittedly.
a monster that will suck us up, apparently. Oh, that's Doma Castle, that's right. Okay, you know what? I'm going to actually save off that island just in case. Alright. Let's do this. Let's find this creature who will apparently suck us up, I guess. Zone Eater. That looks like a, a problem. Maybe I should use X-Zone on it since it eats zones. That's not... All it does is like that's anticlimactic. I was hoping it would like take me somewhere. She might be the only one who had X Zone, so. Frozen? No! There we go. And well, that was... Did they come back dead? No, they come back dead. This could be a star-shaped set of mountains in that the treasure would be like right in the middle. If the whole thing was mountains, which is kind of not, but... If you filled in this little hole, that would be sort of a star shape. Okay, so there's a creature that can suck me in, but the suck me in doesn't, like, reveal any secrets. I should try the forest here, though, probably. Because, you know, it might have a dragon in it. Jason, Jason. Forest, 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 wandering around in the forest. Is there a dragon? Nobody knows. Except the people who know, but I'm not asking them. Well, that was like the full 20 steps. It's just another zone eater. If we all get engulfed, does, then, does that mean that we, uh, win, we get to go to another place and fight it from the inside? Or does that just mean that we, we all die? I have to start over. Save. That's not possible. What's it all? You'd best be frozen? What? Why do they phrase it that way? I was killed by two dinosaurs, I'm pretty sure. It's just more zone eaters. So 
said the guy said the thing could suck in a whole ocean, yeah. Do I want it to suck in a whole ocean? Is that a thing that I should try to get it to do? Like, I hardly, I hardly think that... <laughs> Trying to stay hip, that's how the kids talk these days, I guess. Was that how the kids talked when this came out in the States? Zone eaters. I don't care about the zone eaters. We need the zone. I fed him the zone, so how much do I care? Like, I guess. Oh yes, Jason. Uh Sabin learned uh we we randomly ran into his master and, and his master taught him a move called Bum Rush. So, uh, that's been a source of endless amusement. Um, yeah. Maybe I'll come back here at some point. There's gotta be a secret to using this. So it's a triangular island. It's basically shaped like an arrow pointing this way? According to the map? Or pointing this way? No, pointing this way, I think, according to the map. Like, this looks like this is the... To the island. So if I went do this way, what would happen? I mean, I guess I would fly over a lot of stuff. There's probably something interesting in all those little tiny, like what's left of the island rocks below some of these places. Like, is there anything even here? Do I fight things? I can fight things. Just a boggy. Bogey. Booger. I don't know. Whatever they are. Oh, dog. South Figaro. I know I'm just wandering around aimlessly, but to be fair, like, wandering around aimlessly has helped me out a lot this session, so... Thank you, mods. Looks like the spam bots are back. I should probably go some places with other characters, like, I should go back to Figaro Castle, but with Edgar or something. <laughs> this game was designed around Endless Wandering. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. That honey really sweet. about gold farming. I didn't actually see what the spam message mu was. I'm just assuming by that username that it's, it was a spam message. The sweet little girl stopped coming by right after the world ended. Well, you know, there's probably a reason for that.
lot of, like, a lot more spam bots recently on Twitch than there used to be. Um, I'm wondering if, like, some spammer cracked whatever algorithm, um, Twitch uses to, like, I'm sure Twitch does captchas when you sign up. I would hope that Twitch does captchas when you sign up. Um, so I wonder if, like, some spam bot thing just cracked with that algorithm is, hey, are you supposed to be doing that? Oh, you're rebuilding. That's fine. down here before because I remember like trying to remember where the little place was there. And this is the prisons where Celeste was busy being held. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've been down here. Is there a save point in one of these? Oh, this would be a super short segment if I ended now, but I am so tired, you guys. Like, I think if you're the sort of person who logs onto Twitch at all for any reason, like, unless you somehow accidentally stumbled onto this website, then you're not going to... Yeah, I guess there's rafters at the top there that are angled. Um, then you're not going to click on a spam link like that. Like, you know better. every spam link to make sure the bots won't feel bad. Well, it's important, Skug, that you not hurt the bots' feelings. Is there a secret way to get here from Narsha that Locke took? Or was that just the castle thingy? Jason says, so this one time God sent angels that looked like people to see how they were treated. Uh, see if Sodom and Gomorrah were all right were all right places. That's how I see bots and robots and things we currently have. 
So you think we're being tested to see if we treat the bots well? And if we fail, we'll be destroyed by a uh, rain of hellfire? I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong. Yeah, we met Duncan, actually. Now that you remind me who the fuck he was. <laughs> I do recall that we actually... he was alive. Well, that would have been good to know. You know, you gotta be careful, Thanara, doing fake spam like that. Because while modding your stream, I have almost accidentally banned people like two or three times for like like making fun of the bots with various posts. Because it looks so much at a glance. Like, oh, it's another bot post, and you just sort of, like, uh, instinctively, you know, right-click ban. A Liga and a no rabbit. No rabbit. No rabbit. Guys, no rabbit. Oh my god, get back on the ship, there we go. Alright, where's the last place I should try for today? Go back to the... this castle. Check out some little islands here and there. for flashing back to before the world of ruin. Very colorful. Um. Yeah, this is Lock's house, right? Where the lady is sleeping in the basement. Why is this muggle muggle music? Um is this the like the like funny music? This doesn't seem like a funny music sort of scenario. Someone is like hiding here that we don't know about. Yeah, I guess rooms like this just have corner rafters. I don't think it necessarily signals um, a place. Okay. Does that mean we have to find the Star Mountain? Because that's where the treasure is, I guess. Coliseum guy? So I wouldn't exactly call that vision, but sure. Well, you know, you say that, lady, but Jadur looks fine.
first up on their seat, they get angry. <sighs> a dead girlfriend in every port, what a cad. <laughs> yep. That lock, such a womanizer. Gives Edgar a run for his money, considering, like, Edgar claims to be a womanizer, but we have, like, yet to see him actually, you know, work with a woman and succeed. Except maybe Realm, and she's, like, 12, and he was, like, uncomfortable with that. <laughs> As he should be. <laughs> hey, Logie Dog. has been attracted to every of age female character in the game, but that's two characters, like that's not really saying a lot. <laughs> see? See, Skug? It's, all you're doing is antagonizing the mods, and then one day they will accidentally ban you. I'm gonna find this treasure the Locke is searching for. I've been told that Locke is one of the, is like, the hardest of the, the characters to retrieve, which given that he's the only non, like the only new character that, or the only non-new character that we uh, have not yet retrieved, that is believable. Um, well, I guess we haven't retrieved Realm or Strago technically, um, but we know where they are. Sort of like into doing that. Not, you know, we're like partway through doing that for Realm. Um, oh, that's right, I can go higher up. This looks like a star to me. Where mountains form a star, he said. Well, so here's. This looks like one thing of a, an edge, and this looks like it could be an edge. Is there like downward edges here somewhere? I'm thinking like it could be maybe in the middle of the ocean somewhere and you set down. And it turns out that like, actually you could, you know, you didn't see it, but there's like a tiny speck of land that you could set down on. Place like that in um, Final Fantasy X, where you sort of, you pretty much have to back it. You kind of have to arbitrarily just know where the um, the secret island is to get the um, Anima summon, which is really badass. Um, and you also have to have like done a special thing in every single one of the um, temples, which is not too bad because. All except one of them you can go back to. Oh, there's nothing on that bridge. I thought that bridge was like a place to get under. Um, yeah, you have to secretly know the co coordinates for that location, um, pretty much. And uh, if you've gotten, or the one, the one um, temple that you can't go back to, the thing that you have to get is like basically right on the path, so they make sure that you pretty much get it. Um, Uh, but 
yeah, so if you know, if you've done this thing with all the orbs correctly in all the temples, um, and opened up, like, there's like a special treasure chest, I guess, you have to open up in each temple, and then you go to, like, the super secret coordinates, and you can get on one. This is a weird little lake. What's up with this island? Is there anything special here? No, there is not being able to move here. Alright guys, I think that's it for me for tonight. I think I'm gonna just give up here. I'm just so tired. <laughs> yeah, Anima was super creepy. He had a, an attack that like, drags stuff up from hell with chains or something like that, or he was dragged up from hell with chains? Wasn't that, like, Anima supposed to be, like, the spirit of Seymour's dead mother? Like, that was fucked up. Um... Oof. Oh, come on, webcam. You can do better than that. There you go. Okay, um... I want to hint for where I can start next time. If it's a if it's a um, a vague hint, then sure. Um. Uh, but yeah, I'm. I may not need to get up at six a.m. tomorrow, but I still do have to get up, and I have a full day of. Uh, of work, so hopefully not a 12 hour day but probably like a 10 hour day given what's the hell's tomorrow, Monday when's my 315 to yeah yeah I probably have a good 10 hour day to do tomorrow so um <laughs> revisit the places I went tonight, okay um, well, that's, that's vague enough. There's plenty of places to revisit. Okay. Um, yeah. So, predictions. Fucking Locke is out there somewhere. We're gonna find him. <laughs> Eventually. Um, there's four dragons left to find as well. And, you know, stuff. Yeah. I don't know. I got nothing, guys. Um, we got a lot of secrets to find before the end of the game. I want to at least find all eight dragons, um, and the secret character, even if I have to, like, just blatantly ask for that at some point. Um, and we gotta find Locke. We can't go face the end boss without finding Locke. Um, and there's, like, backstory out there to find for people, I think. Um, that probably requires equipping other characters, though, which I'm not super into doing, but I can do that for like one story sequence or something. We might have to, um, I might have to just ask you guys about those because I care less about those characters. <laughs> um, so I'm not as interested in like, you know, playing until I find out. I would be more sort of mercenary and like, alright, we're gonna go XYZ or something, but we'll give it another, you know, we'll give it another couple sessions to see what I can find, because I, I did find a lot of random secrets um, today, like, you know, we got Sabin's last uh, blitz, and we got um, that random uh, Esper that washed up on the beach, and um, we talked to that guy who said that Locke is looking for treasure, so maybe we can go back to Narsha or something. I don't know. Um, maybe we can go back to the weird Triangle Island or something. We'll see. We'll try some stuff. Um, Thank you guys for being here with me. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about my schedule. Because I don't want to stop doing this. I really like doing this. But I also need to sleep more than I've been sleeping. <laughs> so I might switch to... 
maybe doing two hour streams or I might just stream every other week when I'm not also podcasting. I'm not sure. Um, uh, just just uh, keep an eye on my Twitter and I'll try and keep you guys updated at Kyla underscore go. Um, because I don't, I don't feel like I'm doing this justice if I'm, if I'm streaming when I'm this exhausted too. Because I can't, you know, I, you guys are, you guys are great and showing up for me, and I can't, I should, I should have a fun stream and not a like me almost falling asleep the whole time stream. Um, what else? Stuff. Stuff is happening in the community. Um, Sean Bouchard is streaming Ori and the Blind Forest on Thursdays from 9 to usually like uh, 11 or so, I think. Um, Thanarod is now streaming Sunday mornings at 10. Um, Jason is still streaming Wednesdays at 6, I believe. Um, as I said, for me, you know, at Kyla underscore go on Twitter to see when I'm doing stuff. Um, keep an eye on the forum thread, the Mogs, the, the Mogs playlist forum thread on uh, undefinedbehavior.com slash forum. Um, like I said, have some finalists for, like, what I'm considering for the different songs, but, but, uh, Feel free to, you know, to give me more input. I am always open to, like, maybe having multiples for one, um, for one song or, you know, replacing some of them. And I still haven't quite decided what I'm doing for Love Sonata yet. Um, no, Thanarod, we're not doing, uh, <laughs> to, to cut you off, we're not doing anything from an Ice-T album. I'm sorry. Um... And somebody, somebody should post the suggestions for uh, for the stumble track, because uh, we should have a stumble track. You're right. Um, what else? Oh, the podcast. Um, so next Sunday we'll be talking about Gyromancer. So come and talk about Gyromancer with us because it's ridiculous, and it's like six bucks on Steam, so you can get it really cheap, and. It's fun and hilarious and like terrible, but but in the best way. It's a gloriously ambitious mess. Um, I don't know if it's even that ambitious, but it's it's worth it's worth seeing. If nothing else, you can laugh at it with us. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all the things. So uh, I think that's all the things. Anyway, and. I guess mostly walking um, tomorrow evening, uh, which I'm probably going to miss the beginning of because I'm not going to be home until like 8. So, um, but I'll, so I'll hopefully catch the end of it with you guys in, in plebe chat. <laughs> um, and, uh, and then catch the rest on, on VODs. I need to go to sleep. Um, Thank you guys for being with me. I love you all, and I'll see you around in the community. <laughs> Have a good night.